Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial and let's talk about clear function and also the other options that's available related to clear. So you all know the clear normally clears all the data in the programmer that you already used. So what other options you have? So some of you that came from a, might be from a different platform you want to see actually a few more options for example normally this is how the clear button behaves so if you had your lights let's locate them put the position uh, switch on uh, put them in a certain position and for example set certain color so when you press clear the fixtures stay in the same position and all it does is it kills all that you had in the programmer it completely wipes it and turns off your fixture so that means if i select my lights and i'll press at full for example you will see they stay in the same position as they were before i press clear and they remain the color so if i had a gobo and everything so again anything you see in the programmer when i press clear it will be just cleared but all the fixtures stay in the same place so some of you are asking how do you press the clear button so all your lights will be reset into the default position it's actually quite easy to do and there are several ways of doing that so first of all when you select your lights and press locate you set your lights so as a key combination in order to release all the fixtures into the default for example for one off will be for you to press and hold control like in my case control button and then you press clear that way all the fixtures will be reset into the default again the default comes either from fixture library or from special queue which is called default queue about this i'm going to talk in a separate uh, tutorial so now if you switch on the fixtures you will see they're all the default white color open shutter no gobo no colors no zoom no focus so i mean everything comes from default however there is a way to actually automate it so every time you will be pressing just clear without using the control button you'll press clear and all your fixtures will be uh, dropped into the default position how to do that for this you have to press setup button then you go into the programmer tab so you need to be in the view settings programmer tab and the option here is called unused channels return to defaults by the by default it says heads without intensity only this is for the rgb leds that don't use the virtual dimmer so when you will press clear it will actually turn them off so in our case we can double click that and use the option called yes to all heads so now if you select your fixture position it somewhere and you press clear you will see the lights will return to default again as you've seen it's quite simple quite straightforward however of course you have to be careful with uh, with that option automatically turned on because if you're doing something if you're busking live uh, this may bring obviously unexpected uh, consequences for you because when you're pressing this it will always go to default or to whichever live active playback you have so again this is this option is available for you if you want to have it automatic again it's in the setup view settings programmer window unused channels return to default you have to set instead of heads without intensity only to yes to all heads however there is another way of working with that that would be using the macro functionality so if you click the macro button it will give you the option that that will be a macro window and here i have created three macroses they're all inbuilt if you want to bring them on you have to click on any empty slot press inbuilt macro and you have options here clear default clear zero and clear selected how that works let me show it to you so first of all also will remind you that the first 10 options here are available for you 
when you click in that part of the screen. So this rectangle above playbacks 2 and 5, you click here and this option becomes available for you. Okay, just so you know, in case you didn't know that. So what are the options that you've got? So if you select your fixtures, uh, first of all, let's put it back to default. Okay, so now when you select your lights and press locate, you set a look, set position. So now when you click here and it says clear default, what it means is if I click here now, it will clear it to default. It's the same procedure as if I would press and hold clear and press uh, control and then press clear. Look, it resets to default. Okay, so again, that means you can keep the clear button to operate as it is and use the macro button to operate as a uh, instead of control clear because you can always map the, the macro buttons to either um, to be triggered using uh, external triggers let's say OSCs or MIDIs if you have unlocked software and appropriate uh, appropriate hardware or you can use it uh, from the screen or you can use it I believe you can bind them onto the keyboard buttons if you're using PC or Mac version so the other option that you have is is clear selected what it means is I can now select a particular group of lights so this stage right spots and I can press clear selected that means it will clear only the selected fixtures but the, rem the others that were not selected but are still active they're still in the program okay so the last option here I'm going to show you is the option which is called clear zero you don't actually need to turn anything on to press the clear zero all you have to do is is if you look here see all the lights are positioned here if you have for example you're using another console to run data through your console through magic system and you would like to put all the values to be at zero 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 so that means the other console or media server can run the data through without having any issues in that case you can press clear zero and this is what's going to happen so if you look here sorry if you look here by default the fixtures have got default values let's say for example spots have got default values for cyan magenta uh, for example okay let me do this so if I'll select my lights and I'll put all of them to default and I'll press clear if you go to the output window you will see that by default washers have got RGB uh, whites at 100% certain color options a certain zoom option spot has got the different options as well um, for the colors for the um, for different attributes so if you press clear zero look what's gonna happen here it will take all the fixtures and it will set all the values to be uh, equal to zero mm -hmm. so what it means is it will it will actually uh, make all the values to be zero so that means you will be able to run the data through your console without the magic queue uh, intercepting or uh, I would say uh, sending any other data above zero so in some cases some people wants to use the consoles in let's say HTTP mode so the highest takes precedence so in that case having this option on will allow you to again if you'll switch it on and use this function clear zero now you look at the output you will see that all the data is here at zero and you may ask the question what about pan and tilt data so pan and tilt data is by default locates it uh, by default stays in uh, zero zero is 128 by 128 uh, value so in that case 
right now when you press 0, 0, 0, so it zeroes it down. So this will be the zero values for the pan and tilt attributes as well. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the fact that you can actually clear out with a certain time. So for example, if you have your lights set at a certain position, and then for example, you want to clear it. So instead of just pressing clear where the action is going to happen immediately, you can actually press five seconds and clear. It will clear itself off. But this five seconds is mainly working with the clear button. So that means also if you had this function to be yes to all heads, then if you press five seconds clear, you will see it will clear itself off within five seconds. Okay, I hope that was useful. And now you will know more about clear and clear options. So good luck to you in all your works. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. And again, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and press like for this video. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.